now we will solve one more problem on superposition theorem. In the last lecture, we have seen that uh, contributions due to individual sources they are to be added up in order to determine the actual response in any element. We have done with uh, three sources. So in today's class, we will try one more problem. So I hope that you will continue learning this determination of individual source contributions using superposition theorem. So this is the problem for today. Using superposition theorem, find the current in 23 ohms resistor in the circuit. See, this is a circuit. It consists of 1, 2, 3, 4 resistors. And there are 3 loops. 1, 2, 3 loops. But don't bother about the loops. First of all, let's see how many sources are there. There are, this is one source, a voltage source 200 volts, and this is a current source of 20 amperes. So, your circuit is having two sources. One is a voltage source, the other one is a current source. And you need to determine the current in this one. 23 ohms resistor. So, I will take it as I. Okay. So, and then what I will do is, since there are two sources, I will take it as I1 plus I2. I1 is the current due to 200 volts voltage source. I2 is the current due to 20 amperes source. So, I will try to determine their individual contributions and then I will add them up. So, first of all, let us consider that there is only 200 volts volt, 200 volt voltage source acting alone. So, in that case, the current source is to be replaced by the internal resistance, right? So, if that is the case, this is my current source and it will be replaced. See, I am open circuiting it. Okay. So, that is why I am open circuiting it. Now, for this, I will apply nodal analysis now. So, if I apply nodal analysis, see, I will take it as 0 volts and this is my 200 volts and here I do not have anything. So, I will take it as node A and I will take that voltage as VA and here I will take it as B. VB. Right. So, the same has been show, shown here, VA and VB. And I will be applying the nodal analysis for determining the current here. So, there are two effective nodes now. At effective node A, there are three paths. This is VA to the nearest is 0 by 27. The second one is VA to the nearest one is 200 here. VA minus 200 by 27. And VA, the nearest one is VB, VA minus VB by 4 is equal to 0. You solve it, you will get this final equation. And at node B, you do have 3 paths. I will start with VB, VB minus VA by 4. And this is an open circuit, you will not get any current 0. And this is VB minus 0 by 23. And you solve it, this is your equation. Now, you do have two equations. One is at node A and now it is at node B. If you solve these two equations, you will get VA and VB. Right. So, if I want to find the current in this 23 ohms resistor, see what is the voltage drop across this one? This point is at VB and this is at 0. So, what is the voltage drop? VB minus V0. So, it is VB. Right. Because V0 is reportedly 0 volts. So, VB by 23. So, which means what we may have got 38.01 by 23, I will get 1.6526 amperes in the downward direction. Now, this is due to 20 volt, 200 volts voltage source. Now, there is another source now, 20 ampere source. Now, I need to determine the contribution of this one. So, if only this source is to be present, this is to be replaced. How it is to be replaced? It is a voltage source. So, I will be short circuiting it. See, I have short circuited it. Right. So now I need to determine again. Now I'm, again I will apply nodal analysis. See here. 0, 0, 0, 0. I will again this will I will take it as A, this is VA, and again this is B, this is VB. Right? See, this is I have mentioned VA and VB. Again nodal analysis. I'll stand with node A. At node A, I do have three paths now. 1, 2, 3. This is VA minus 0 by 27 plus VA. The next thing is there is no 200 volt source here. Directly it is 0. So, VA minus 0 by 47 plus VA minus VB by 4. You simplified this is your equation. And at node B, this is VB minus VA by 4. 
and this is an incoming current source it is minus 20 and this is vb minus 0 is by 23 you solve it this is your equation now both of these equations if you solve them what is you will get va and also vb here right so now if you want to determine the current it is vb minus 0 by 23 see vb by 23 so this is the current is 9.578 now what is the total contribution now combining all the responses due to individual sources the current in 23 ohms resistor is i is equal to i1 plus i2 right so what is i1 i have obtained 1.652 this is due to 200 volts source and this is due to 20 ampere source both are algebraically added this is my total current 11.23 so I'll directly take it as 11.2 or otherwise you can directly do a nodal analysis also. But since I have been asked to use superposition theorem, I am trying to determine individual contributions and then summing them. Okay. So this is your, uh, I hope that now you are able to determine the individual source contributions. And this is your homework problem. There are two voltage sources available. This is a simple two marks question. Try to determine the response the current in resistor r okay so we will solve more problems in the class thank you